<laughs> good almost in the year, Bingles. I am Samaje. And I'm Shauna. And, and this, this is Good Morning, morning Blyfwood. finally here bingles <laughs> and distribution begins this week if you order your book online you can pick yours up in the atrium during lunch during 5th and 6th and 8 16 or by appointment by sending an email to mr styles if you didn't purchase a book some may still be available for purchase while supplies last last week was the last official week for seniors but it isn't over yet graduation takes place on wednesday june 1st at the colonial life arena Rising Juniors, the College of Charleston is taking applications for a junior project, a college preparatory program serving African American, Latino slash Latina American, and Native American first generation college students. As part of the program, you'll spend four days and three nights on the College of Charleston camp campus meeting students and faculty attending interactive leadership workshops, learning valuable time management and writing skills, and experiencing all Charleston has to offer. Applications are due May 31st, so complete yours today. Visit their website or see Blythe Week for more information. Again, this week we'll be featuring more reporting from BHS Journalism 1 class. First up, this report on how athletes at BHS balance sporting and academics from Katie Benson, Kennedy Buxton, Journey Farman, and Danielle Chisholm. Student athletes at Blythewood High School are committed to both the classroom and the field. They have adapted and learned how to juggle their sport and academics. After games and meets, students often don't get home till late at night and then they have to complete all their homework and studying from the day. Students also get pulled out of class at the end of the school day if they have an away game. How exactly are our student athletes able to balance their sport and their learning? And how do they manage the stress of maintaining them both? This is about two hours. Game is probably about three. Um, so I miss a lot of the lessons and then I have to make it up. And so if you don't have motivation to watch the videos or to ask for extra help, it can take your grade. I do miss out on some stuff because I have to catch up with my teacher afterwards. But after I catch up, I can, go to, I can go to tutoring or something and get all caught up, so everything works out in the end. For football games, we have a lot of time and spare, so like, I probably do schoolwork before, before we get on the bus onto a away game or like when we, when we in the stadium, I go do homework in there. It's good. It made me go harder in class. If I want, if I want to play football, I have to, I have to pass my classes, so I guess I, it motivates me more. In our Bingle Nation, we have dedicated students to apply themselves during their classes and their sports. Our Bingles strive for excellence both on the field and off, and it shows. Reporting from Blythewood High School, Kennedy Buxton. That's a side of BHS athletes we don't typically see, don't you think? Indeed, it sure is interesting to see a new site. Speaking of news, here is a report from Tessa Shepard taking a look at one of BHS innovative courses offering introduction to animation. Oh, that one? Yeah. Mind the Which way? Like straight? With animation being in high demand and other schools already beginning to open the doors to it, this school year, BHS revealed the first class of its kind, Foundations of Animation. This class offers new experiences for students as they learn about the fundamentals of animation, create animated content using Adobe Animate CC and some coding, and prepare to earn a certification in animation using JMetrix. Impacting the students, I think it does give them an opportunity to learn something that they probably wouldn't learn. It's not as 
readily used of a skill, like say web development, web design is. It gives the students an opportunity to be a bit more creative than they would be. Uh, some students create products, projects that are pretty outstanding and it pushes their limits. With the sudden investment Blackfoot High School has given to its artistic avenue, what is the student and teacher critical reception like for this newfound animation class? I really do enjoy it. Mr. Griffin is a good teacher and it's a fun time. I like the mess ups because sometimes they could be pretty funny. But also, I like how I, once I do it, I like the final product because it just feels good after struggling and then you finally finish it. I think it's really cool, but there are times it can be difficult, but you just overcome that. It will open a lot of things for the school because a lot can happen with it. And um, you know, a lot of students could be animated someday. Overall, I think this class is great. Do I think this class could be better? Yes. Um, especially if we have the right software, the right hardware, I think this class could be phenomenal. This course, while only in its infancy, has begun to make strides, evolving with the school and growing one frame at a time. Reporting from Blyfoot High School, I'm Tessa Shepard, signing out. <laughs>